Hello, so in today's lesson we're going to be looking at what are the different shapes of settlement. Thinking about the shapes and the hierarchy as well. So your learning objectives today are you're going to identify the parts of the settlement hierarchy and apply it to your location. You're going to describe the difference between linear, nucleated and dispersed settlements and you're going to be able to judge the shape of settlements from a map. So your first task is to define the following terms. You're going to have to define the terms service, low order service and high order service. And when I say define, I mean I want you to write it on the screen. Now a service is something that happens in the village, the town, the city. And that could be like a post office, a bus service, it could be a school, primary school. As you get bigger into towns, you might get secondary schools. Um, it could be sports facilities, stadiums, universities, cathedrals. A low order service is one that you find lots of. So, something like a shop or a post office. You get those in lots and lots of places. They are a low order service. A high order service tends to be the services that are found in the largest cities and there are less of them such as a university or cathedral um, or sports stadium. Now the settlement hierarchy. You start off at the bottom with an isolated dwelling. So that might just be one house in an area. Then you move up to a hamlet and where you get a few houses uh, together nearby next stage you might get a village. Now in a village you're probably this is where you're going to start to get services. In a hamlet you're unlikely to have a shop or a post office or anything like that um, but by the time you get to a village you might then start to get a bus service, post office, shop. Um, if you live in market you're going to get four engine takeaways. Um, as you progress, uh, sorry the other thing you'll get when a village is you might as well get, you might get a school as well. Primary schools, lots of villages will have their local village school. As you get towards the towns, you get smaller towns and larger towns, you might then begin to get secondary um, schools. You might then get larger supermarkets. You might get um, larger churches. You might get swimming pools. Um, you might get uh, sports teams starting to appear in the town. You might get railway stations. Certainly by the time you get to a city, you're going to have lots of features like a railway station. Most cities have universities and colleges. Um, and they tend to have as well government buildings to look after either the local areas, the local districts, the councils, the counties, or even uh, into, the large, um, into the large cities that look after the UK. So then right at the top we have a conurbation. Now I'm not going to tell you what a conurbation is because at the end of this work I'm asking you to go and find out what a conurbation is. On this sheet what I want you to do is I want you to list the types of services you might find in these levels of the hierarchy. So I'm only asking you to look at the city, the large town and the village but I'd like you there to list the different settlements that you can find. On this one this slide, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to list the settlement hierarchy places you know that are known to you. Now you may live in an isolated dwelling so you need to put the name of your location at the bottom. The next level up might be a hamlet, then a village, then a town, then a city. I want you to name these places with of areas you know and that means something to you and that you have visited. So it might be that the, the Hamlet at the bottom is where you live, the village could be where you go to school, the town could be where you go shopping, the city could be where you sometimes go with your parents and so forth. So I'd like you to just fill that in with what these places mean to you. Okay, now that's settlement hierarchy. The next stage that we're going to do is we're going to be thinking about settlement shapes. And I want you to watch this video and this video just briefly explains to you the settlement shapes. Again, I'm going to tell you now about the settlement shapes. Three types of settlement shapes. There's two on the screen, but the first one is linear. Now, linear is where the houses of a settlement are spread out along a road or a river, maybe a railway line, but along a linear feature. 
okay? They don't sort of come from a center, they're not sort of spread out sporadically, but they follow a line. The next type is a nucleated settlement. Now remember, nucleated is a very similar word to nucleus. In science, a nucleus has a core center. And if we think nucleated, the settlements are built around a center and they build outwards. And nucleated settlements traditionally, or in the past, have been built around churches. We're going back hundreds of thousands of years, um, or cathedrals, um, and then build out. And so we call those nucleated settlements. The other types, not on your screen here, but you can find, is called a dispersed settlement. Dispersed settlements are where the settlements are spread out and there's no real order to them, it's very random. These tend to be usually found in farmland areas and upland areas. Now, when you've done that, the next slide has a very interesting task for you to do. What I want you to do is there are um, six settlements that I've put for you on Google Earth. You open the settlement, the, the link, and it will take you to Google Earth and that will load in your screen and it will zoom straight in to the settlement. And I want you to look at the settlement and decide, is that nucleated, is it linear, or is it dispersed? And then I want you to record your answer using this Google form here. I'm going to have to move me out of the way, I think. I'm in the way there. So you can put your name in, record your class, and then what is your answer for each one. Okay. Finally, there's a little bit of a task matchup work to do. And here you have to just go to the um, uh, word wall and you've got to link up the words with the correct definitions. So hopefully today you have then gone away and you will be able to identify the parts of the settlement hierarchy and you can apply it to your location. You can describe the difference between a linear nucleated and dispersed settlement and you'll be able to judge the shape of settlements from a map. Once all that's done, there are two extra little questions at the end, and these are just ones to do if you've sort of finished early and you're looking for a little bit more to do. This one is, what is a conurbation? Go and research it, go and find out. What is a conurbation? Can you name a conurbation? And the last one, what factors contribute to a settlement being linear? And again, I'd like a little bit of a detailed answer there. Okay, there you are for today. Enjoy.